Hello friends, this video on number systems part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Let's take some more exercise to express the decimal in the form of p by q, where p and q are integers and q is not equal to 0, that is, express this in the form of rational numbers. 0.6 bar. So if x is equal to 0.6 bar, the number of repeating units are 1. We'll multiply with 10x. You'll get 6.6 .6 bar. Easily subtract these 10x minus x is 9x. 6.6 .6 6 bar minus 0 0.6 6 bar is 6. Or x is equal to 6 by 9. If you want, you can further simplify it and this becomes 2 by 3. Right? 3, 3 you can divide from both sides. The next is 0.47 bar. So if x is equal to 0.4 and 7 bar, so we know that the first rule is we have to make sure that this point comes just before the repeating part. So 10x is nothing but 4.71. Okay, this is the first part. The second part is, since this repeating part is only one unit, we'll multiply the, this expression with 10. So 10 into 10 is 100x. And 10 into point, uh, 4.7, this whole thing is multiplied with 10. So what you get is 47.71. Now you will subtract this equation 1 and equation 2. 100 x minus x is what? 90 x. And 47.7 bar minus 4.7 bar is 43. You solve this x is equal to 43 by 90. Okay. The next is this value 0 0.0011 bar. So if x is equal to 0 0.001 bar, if you see point is just before the repeating part, so we are fine with that. The next is three repeating parts, so we'll multiply with 1000 both sides, 1000 x is nothing but 1000 into 0 0.001 bar, that is nothing but 1000 0.001 bar. So this is 1000 into this is 0.1, sorry. If you actually multiply this, you get 1.0001 bar, right? 1000 into this value is 1. So now if this is 1, this is 2, you subtract these equations. 1000 x minus x is what? 999 x. And 1.001 bar minus 0.001 bar is 1. So x is equal to 1 by 999. And that is the answer. Okay. It is easy. We have to express 0.9999 in form of p by q. This is nothing but 0.9 bar. So first thing is the point is just before the bar, so we are good with that part. The number of repeating part is 1, so we'll assume x to be 0 0.9 bar. So we'll multiply with 10 because only repeating part is 1 unit. So 10x is 9.9 .9 bar. Divide these two equations. 10x minus x is 9x. 9.9 .9 bar minus 0 0.9 bar is 9. Or x is equal to 1. So if you see, 0 0.9999 is actually equal to 1. Okay. So what can be the maximum number of digits in the repeating block of digit in the decimal expansion of 1 by 17? See to do this actually we have to expand this and then we see what is the maximum number of digits in the repeating block. So let's see this 17 and this is 1. You can't divide to so put a point. It's 10, you can't even divide 10, put the again 0, this becomes 100, right? So 100, this is, you can multiply by 5, 7 into 5 is 85, you get 15 here, with a 0. And then 150, so you can multiply with 8, 17 into 8 is 136, you subtract, you get 14, and a 0, right? And again, you can divide with 8 to get 136. You get 4, the 0, 40. 
40, 70 into 2 is 34. Again, take that. Then 16. Sorry, this is 6. And 0. 60, 7 into 3 we can do. That is 51. And that is 9. It's 90. Right? For 90, you can take 70 into 5. That is 85. 50. For 50, you can, if you take 3, 17 to 3 is 51, we can't take 3, 17 to 2, that is 34, you get 16 here, and this is 0, 160, right, now we can take 17 to 9 actually, 17 to 9 is 153, you get 7, See till now there is no repetition. Right? 70. So 70, let's put 70 here just for simplification. The same 70 I'm putting it here. Right? So 70 I can take 17 into 4. 17 into 4 is 68. I get 2 with the 0, 20. And then you can take 1. 17 into 1, 70. 3, 30. 30 also I can't take 2, I have to take 1 only, 17 to 1, 17 to 2 is 34. So I have to take only 1, 17, I am left with 1, 3, the 0, 1, 30. I can take 7 here. 17 to 7 is 1, 1, 9, meaning 11, 1, 1, 0. So we see here till now there is no repetition. Right? So 110, let's see how much we can take. So if we take 6, 6, 7 into 6 is 42, and 7, 6 into 1 is 6, yeah, 102, 8. 80. Right? If I take 4, then I get 68. I get 12 here. That is 120. And 120, if I take 7 into 7, that is 119. So 119, I get 1. That is 10. Is there a repetition here? Till now, no. 10, I can't take. But the 0 here becomes 100. Let's put the 100 here. 100. So once you get 100, I can take 5. Right? Then it becomes 85. 15. So we see things are repeating now here. Things are repeating from, if you think things are repeating, 150 it will repeat now. So if you see 0 0.05, you can ignore. From here to here is the repeat. Because now if you see here, once we got one, there was a one here, it started repeating. So we got a zero, then we got a five, and then again if you do 150, so it will be seven into eight, 17 into eight, 136. Right? If you see the thing, same thing is repeating. This is the maximum repeat. So the maximum number of digits in the repeating block is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 16 digits are repeating in this particular rational number, decimal expression. Okay. So you have to actually find out. So you have to actually do your maths and find out the decimal expression and that from that expression you can tell how many digits are repeating for any such kind of questions. So the question is find three different irrational numbers between these numbers. So these two are rational numbers between these two rational numbers. I know that they are infinite number of irrational number. 5 by 7. 5 by 7 is typically 0.714285. And 9 by 11 is 0.8181. Let's continue. 
So you can take a prox as 0.71 and this I'll take a prox as 0.82. So you find numbers between them. I can have so many numbers. I can have 0 0.72, 0 0.73, 0 0.75, 0 0.76, 0 0.79, 0 0.8, right? All the numbers. But I have to find irrational number. These are all rational number because they are repeating, non-repeating. Sorry, this is all terminating. So there is no constitution of repeating, non-repeating. But to make it irrational numbers, I have to make it non-repeating and non-terminating. Right? If the question is find rational number between these two, these two numbers, this is correct. I have to find the irrational number. So irrational number will be non-repeating, non-terminating. So let's add some junk number. 1, 2, 3, how many numbers? 7, 8, 5, 6, 3, 2, 0, 0, 7, 2, 1, 9. And let's put dot dot here. Because you can put some number, you can just put 5, 8, 6, 7, 3, 2, 0, 9, 8. Something you can put and you can see that it is non-repeating. Right? You see these are my, I have to find 3. So let me add one more here. I am just putting some junk value. Right? So these are my three numbers. Okay? Classify a rational or irrational number. We have to find whether it is a rational or irrational number. So, our point is very simple. It is rational. If it is terminating or non terminating and repeating. Okay? It is irrational. If it is non terminating, non repeating. So let's see. Root 23. So if we actually find the value of root 23, it is 0.47581. 5, 2, 3, 3, 1. It is actually non terminating, non repeating. It, the list goes on. It is non terminating plus it is non repeating. Since it is non terminating and non repeating, it is irrational. Okay, the second is, this is done, the second is root 2 to 5 and that value is 15. 15 is what? 15 is terminating. So it is terminating, it is a rational number. 0 0.039796, looking at this expression itself, I can say it is a rational number, rational number. Why? Because it is terminating. This, if you see, this is non terminating, but if you see, there is a repeat 478, 478. This is also rational number. Why? Because it is non terminating but repeating. Here, let's see if there is a repeat 10, there is 10 between two ones, then there is a 20, there is a 30, 40. It is not repeating. It is not repeating. Since it is not repeating, and also it is not terminating. So it has to be irrational number. Right? Yeah, same irrational number. Okay. So first and last are irrational number and others are rational numbers. Thank you. Visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos. You can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website. You can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website. Thanks a lot for watching.